have uh, some new activities this year in terms of uh, workshops that are going to happen throughout the field day weekend. And uh, Mike, W8AHZ, is going to bring us up to date on both of those things. So we've been talking about new hams and, and what I'll call rusty hams or inactive hams uh, for a bit here. So this year we're doing something a little bit different to cater to that group. We're going to hold three each 45-minute forums or discussion periods for new hams. First one's going to be at 2.30 running to 3.15. So this is during the operating hours. And we're going to grab the new hams. We've got about 25 who have signed up. And we're going to have a discussion. And the first discussion is going to be about amateur radio as an, a radio sport, a hobby. Okay. The second uh, session is going to run in the af uh, at, the, at uh, the end of the dinner at 7 o'clock, 7 to 7.45, and this is going to be a discussion about ham radio as a public service activity, emergency communications specifically. So we'll be talking about radio sport and then emergency communication. And then to wrap it up, the third forum is going to be on Sunday morning, and it's going to be... 10 to 10.45, and it's really a free-for-all question period. Uh, we're titling that Ask the Elmer. And uh, we have asked each of the 25 uh, new hams to come up with uh, some suggestions of what they want to hear about, both on the radio sport and the public service slash emergency communications. And then we'll also pick up on that during the Ask the Elmer session. When they finish their 45-minute session, we're going to escort them to the various tents, and they have a block of time uh, to operate uh, and get on the air. And, of course, they'll be working with us in the go-to tent throughout the day on Saturday and Sunday, as well as having some operating time in the various modes, uh, digital CW and, and uh, sideband. So that's the activity we have. We have uh, enough uh, of the new ham signed up to make this a viable affair. It's going to be held in the mess tent at 2 o'clock, or 2.30, excuse me, and then at 7, and then 10 the next morning. So that's, that's what's going on for the new ham and the forums or education sessions we're running for them. Uh, Dean asked me to talk a little bit about logistics and site prep. Uh, it's a combination effort between uh, Don and myself, frankly. Uh, on the site side, we've got uh, Burke Lake Park. And just to remind everybody, you drive into Bo Burke Lake Park off of Ox Road. You do an immediate left. That's Golf, golf Course Drive. Uh, and that immediate left will put you into our encampment area. Uh, you can park anywhere along golf, uh, uh, golf, uh, park, uh, golf uh, road that you want to. We'd ask you to park into the encampment, not parallel park, but park uh, perpendicular to the, uh, to the road. That way you'll uh, preserve and we'll have more spaces for people to park. You can park anywhere other than in the designated uh, visitor and uh, uh, disabled, or I should say, uh, special needs uh, uh, parking. There'll be about eight, nine spots set up for them right in front of the go to tent. Okay, uh, what else? Ooh, all of a sudden this is working better. We will have a two-meter station. Uh, Bob is going to be running the GOTA side of this, and uh, uh, Paul is going to be running the public service side of the tent, and we'll have both uh, public service activities going on and GOTA activities, but we'll have a full-up HF station as well as a two-meter station in the tent. I'm also bringing DMR to demonstrate DMR. Uh, and that is all I have to report. Awesome. Thanks, Mike. And I think these uh, these uh, um, workshops are going to be uh, a great addition to Field Day. And uh, if you haven't signed up, sign up, or just come on out and you know participate uh, in the workshops. It'll be it'll be a it'll be a lot of fun, and uh, hope to see a lot of uh, a lot of new f hear a lot of new voices on the air and see a lot of new folks out.